Well, Josh, that was a, a difficult night. What are the emotions and thoughts in the dressing room after that? Yeah, everyone's obviously very disappointed uh, coming here and losing 5-0. Yeah, it's very hard to take. Um, if you actually look at the game, obviously we conceded three set pieces, which isn't good enough. Yeah, it looks bad on the scoreline, but they didn't really cut us open. Um, but yeah, it's, it's hard to take. Um, but yeah, we got to quickly move on now because we got another big game on Saturday. So we are we are going. You know, it was a difficult test coming to a team that's flying and in form, won four in a row, beating Peter United five 0 Everything was kind of stacked in their favour, and I mean, the last thing we needed to do was concede from a set piece as early on as we did. And like you said, you know, we're not making excuses, but this was always going to be a tough game, and it, and it certainly played out like that. Yeah, definitely. Exactly what you said. I think we conceded after like six, seven minutes from a, from a set piece, which absolutely killed us. It was always going to be tough, and then we conceded another from a set piece. So. Yeah, we shot ourselves in the foot really tonight, um, but like I said, we've got a massive game against Sheffield Wednesday, so as hurt as everyone is right now, we need to quickly move on from it, um, learn from it, yeah, and go on, go on to Saturday. It's hard to pick out positives on a, on a night like this, but going forward, still create chances and, you know, albeit probably wouldn't have put us in the lead, we did, we did have opportunities to score some goals in that first half, particularly that first half and, and early in the second, so... I know the, the next task is actually putting those chances away, but at least we are creating them. Yeah, exactly. On it, on any other night, like I know they've scored five, but we could have had four or five ourselves. So yeah, like I've said um, in recent weeks, we do need to be more clinical. Um, it didn't fall for us tonight, um, but yeah, we just got to learn from this. <laughs> and I know I said it a few times. Just um, just move on from it now. We will move on before we before we do look ahead. Mention to the fans, obviously a long journey for them done on Tuesday night and. You know, you, you know, you guys want to give them something to, to, to be proud of, and it wasn't the case tonight. What, what would be your message to them? No, it was unbelievable. I think it was close to 200 fans coming up on a, on a Tuesday night, um, where we are in the league. But yeah, it was massive. Um, we need them for the rest of the season now. So yeah, we all appreciate it um, a lot. So hopefully they can um, keep going, push us, push us over the line. And yeah, you, know, you, you mentioned it a few times. I mentioned it one final time. An opportunity to bounce back on on Saturday, another tough game against a good Sheffield Wednesday side. But you know, every game is an opportunity, and you know, I know. I suppose the, the task now is to is to quickly turn our mind to that and, and do what we need to do to, to get something there. Yeah, exactly. Um, not sure how they got on tonight, but that's not going to change the way we want to play. We want we want to go there and obviously dominate, dominate the ball um, and create the chances like we did like we did tonight. Obviously, it didn't come off for us tonight, and we have lost. But yeah, um, no, we're looking forward to it. It's obviously a massive game for us, massive test, but one um, one we need to bounce back with.